Around 30 apprentices entered an energy efficiency competition held by the environmental organisation MyClimate. It was the fourth so-called climate laboratory organised by MyClimate, which supports CO2 saving projects all over the world. In order to participate, the apprentices handed in projects on how to make their school, the company they work for, or life in general, more energy efficient. Our printing company employs around 30 people. In our project, we persuaded our co-workers to come to work by public transport by highlighting the emission and cost-saving aspects compared with using the car. We published our results in a booklet, which we printed on recycled paper using environmentally friendly inks. The booklet will also be presented to our customers to inform them about the advantages of choosing environmentally friendly print materials. This team won an award for installing movement sensors in the washrooms and changing rooms of their school to make sure lights are only on when needed. With our project, we managed to save a lot of energy, a total of 3,350 kilowatt hours in one year. And the changes were easy to implement. It started four years ago, and so far there are 179 projects done. And our goal is to, to reach these young people so that they learn for their future. It's a social need to find new ways of, of producing energy. And that's why it's very important for the young people to see this and to see that clean tech is an important job area. For the first time, a German team also participated. Our project is about saving energy on warm water pumps in households, which normally run 24 hours a day. By installing a switch, you can make it run only when needed. We calculated that a pump running around the clock costs 24 euros per year. With our system, it costs less than 20 cents. After two or three years, the installation costs would already have paid for themselves. If this system was installed all over Germany, in one year we could save up to 2,500 tons of CO2 emissions. In other words, one coal-fired power plant could be switched off. These award winners call themselves energy ambassadors. Their project is about going to people's homes and analyzing their energy consumption. We use a device that shows us straight away how much energy is used when something is turned on. Like for instance a traditional light bulb. The data is then fed into a computer, which gives us an overview of how much energy is used at what time of the day. This concept for a futuristic home brings together a whole collection of ideas, though as yet they are only theoretical. It's an idea which hopefully, because I'm going to study architecture, which hopefully going to get serious and going to be standing somewhere on this planet. You get different kinds of energy producing possibilities. First of all, it's the wind. If you don't have enough wind, then you could use the pedal on a, on, a, on, a, on a bike. So you pump up the water to a higher location, which is going to run down over a wheel, which turns on a generator. Then we have a, a garden, a, a greenhouse actually, that you can produce your own fruits and vegetables during winter time and summer time. Well, once I'm going to be an architect, maybe I'm crazy enough to, to build that house. <laughs>